This is the new VF Engineering 800 kit, or I say new, it's been out a couple of years now, but um, this is for a, a Gen 2 we've got outside, so twin injector uh, engine. Comes with a nice set of instructions, but we've done a couple of these now, so. K and air filters with MS tubes, so we haven't got to recalibrate the air mass housing, that all comes with a file from VF. So air filters, what else we got? Hmm. A couple of little looms, all the new injector, harnesses, EVAP harness, the little hose on the front of the engine you have to change, so where the new pulley set gets in the way and the belt gets in the way, they supply this little flattened off coolant hose. That's a, a quite a nice piece actually. Um, so when we strip the front of the engine down and take the crank pulley off and put the assembly plate in, which is a map one I think, the, the belt gets in the way so we have to run that flattened hose. Uh, what else we got? The pump and bracket for the charge coolers. So, so a nice little bracket that holds it as well. So this is what circulates the coolant around the charge cooler in the bottom of the manifold. So it's what we would call a divorced cooler circuit. So it's not like the RS6s, RS7s, where the charge coolers are cooled by the engine coolant. Um, it's got its own supply. Um, and we expand it as well on some of our bigger power cars and run ice tanks. This is the belt assembly unit that bolts to the front of the engine. So this bolts to the front of the crankcases and this is then the, um, the belt assembly, so the belt routing. So it runs off the new crank pulley, which is then a dual belt pulley. The second belt is to drive a charger, runs up through this tensioner assembly, up over the top of the supercharger, because conventionally there's only one belt which drives the alternator. Um, so we have to modify it to take two belts. This is the base plate for the supercharger. So we take the inlet manifold off complete, do some modifications under the inlet manifold, and then we screw this down onto the, um, onto the lower inlet runners. Um, nice little piece that they've started to do. We see Quite a few people struggle when they boost our rates, and it's something we do on our turbo kits, but these stop the rubbers blowing out when you boost them, because they're not a conventional gasket, they're a, they're a square end seal. Um, so it's nice to see that they've sort of continued their development and included this in the kit as well. A couple of belts. They all supply spares to be fair from the which is pretty good. And then, so that replaces the conventional front pulley. And then this is the piece then that drives the supercharger. So then this would, that sits on the nose of the crank like so, and then that pretty much sits like that. So when you look at the front of the engine, that's what you'd see. More fuel pump fittings and fuel line fittings, the injectors. So we have to take the um, the secondary injectors are in the inlet manifold on the Gen 2. So they run 20 injectors, 10 port, 10 um, DI. So we have to take the secondary injectors off the inlet manifold and install them onto the supercharger. So they supply the pipe work and new rails and we retain the injectors it comes with. Again, when we modify pulley sizes and start to push on a little bit, we can change the secondary injectors um, to help support the air, the additional air going into the engine. We can supply more fuel. 
modified cooling pipe because supercharger gets in the way. Nice header tank for the water system. Now, because we change the assembly or the fittings on the front of the engine, we run a different alternator belt tensioner, which is this. So that replaces the standard one. And then modified alternator pulley and alternator tensioner. Again, because we're changing the belt layout on the front of the engine. Uh, with the supercharger assembly, we have to modify how the alternator belt is driven. Uh, so we change those little pieces. This is the other box. This is the intake shroud for the supercharger. This is box the back of the supercharger, and then your two throttle bodies hang off hang off the back. So whereas on the road car or standard car it's bank to bank um, so one throttle body feeds one bank another throttle body feeds another bank on this car there's still two throttle bodies it's fed into one supercharger and then that one supercharger feeds both banks and that's how we balance balance the boost out this is going to be color coded you'll see in a minute with the supercharger that we've already color coded the main charger body um, and i won't tell you the color i will show you now but we've um we've tied it all in the car's had uh, color change on the calipers, color change on the charger, and then this will go the same color as well. So we've tied it in a bit of a theme. And these are the two, the 750 kit on the Gen 1, we used to run a, a radiator pack in front of the main radiator behind the front bumper. On um, the Gen 2, uh, there's additional radiators or additional coolers in each blade. So what we do is, or what this kit does, is utilize that positioning and runs these, radiators, runs these radiators in each blade. So it can be really nice little brackets to hold them. All embossed. I won't take the protection off a radiator, it's just a radiator. Um, and then these sit in each wing then, and then we route through. So through the charger, through the pump, through one radiator, across to the other side, through the other radiator, and then back up to the header tank. So it's just a, uh, keeps it all packaged right at the back of the car, whereas before we had to run pipe work all the way up through the prop tunnel. We haven't got to do that now. This is how VF supply their calibration. Um, so they send us their hex tuning cable, and we can, we plug this into our laptop and then just load the file onto it in the same way we would flash APR onto a car. Um, we can flash the software into it with that little tool. Um, we can log it, we can ask for changes, we can do whatever's necessary. Um, this car is not going to stand alone, so we've got other cars running Cybex and Motec. This car's staying on stock ECU. So VF will supply the calibration for that. And then if I do the heavy bit, this is the main bit. VF 800 charger in Riviera Blue. 